Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello, Rosa. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Roxana. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, hello. Hello, Jacqueline. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening Ana Garcia. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. All right, Abigail, good to see you here. Good evening. Elizabeth. Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi. Then we have uh, Elizabeth Barrieto, right? Yes. Hello. I can see Alex also. Alex Belloso, right? William Alfredo Swani. Uh, Jack. Right, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, good, good to evening. see you. Good to see everybody here. So, 12 people just got into the class. We're going to wait a little bit for the rest. You can see Ruth Noemi, Eva. Good evening. Uh, Emma. I also have Emma over here. So, we have a lot of work to do tonight. I want you to pay special attention to the activities I have just looked for. I have, we're going to study also about pronunciation, compound nouns, pronunciation, and also about uh, some places in the town. Okay. So I will, I will try to start as quickly as possible by Checking the list of tenants. Give me just one second, please. I'm looking for the information here. Mm -hmm. Okay, places and things. Now, well, do me a favor to tell me how we check list of tenants, okay, people? Abigail? I am here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Ana Maria? Ana Maria Garcia? Hi. Hi. Ana Maria Hi. Emily. Ana Maria Emily. Carlos Dice, David. Ana García. Perdón. Ajá. Soy Ana García. All right. Thank you, Ana, Ana Maria García. Eh, Ana Maria Emily. Carlos David. Carlos David. Daniela Alejandra. Diana Saraí. Emma. Eva. Eva. Gabriela. Gabriela Lisette. Jacqueline, Janet, Joana Guadalupe, present, Carla Olivia, present, 
Melissa. Present. Raúl Alexander. Present teacher, present, present. Hey, Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Present. Sara Abigail. Uh, Zaira, I'm sorry. Present teacher. Okay, sorry, Zaira. Sara Vanessa. Present. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. I am here, teacher. Swani. I saw Swani here. Swani. Wilder. William Vladimir. William Vladimir. William Alfredo. Present teacher. Jancy Stephanie. And Jenny Guadalupe. Jenny Guadalupe. Well, I will check list attendance later once again. So this is the first time. Uh, Okay, and uh, let us go over the class itself. So that's uh, quite important. There are some people in the chat, like Swani, okay, Swani, Alex, uh, Belloso, and that's it, right? So welcome back. Let us get, let us get to working the platform for a while. I will try to introduce some places. Okay, I got a link also. That's going to be very useful. But let us start with the information in the platform. OK, so um, well, I want to congratulate people who, are, who have been working in the platform lately. Quiero felicitar a, a todos los que ter lograron terminar con las actividades de la plataforma la semana anterior. Eh, visualicé por ahí que hay una persona que ya culminó pues se dedicó a, a, a trabajar todos los ejercicios y ya culminó prácticamente uh -huh. los ejercicios. Pero, ok, esa es decisión de cada quien, ¿verdad? Usted puede adelantar o usted puede ir al paso que nosotros vamos desarrollando las actividades, como usted se sienta mejor. Ok. Um, well, I will try to start by telling you that the, we're going to learn some vocabulary about stores and some other places and discuss where you can get different things in town. You have it in English there, and you have it in Spanish here. That, you know, what we are studying tonight, okay? And, you know, in order to start, we have a video. Okay, I will start by, by sharing this video, okay? Uh, related to some, some vocabulary. Pay attention and do me the favor to repeat. We're gonna get familiarized. I will ask some questions when listening to the to the video. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yes. This class you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places, and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Hey, where can you get aspirin? Listen again. By listening and practicing. I will ask some questions I told you, right? You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Where can you get, where can you buy aspirin? Where? Can you buy aspirin? Where? Where is that place? Listen. In the ah, listen. And practice. Listen. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Where can you buy aspirin? Drugstore. In the drugstore. At the drugstore. Good. Second. Number two. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Hey, where can you buy some bread? 
the supermarket. Supermarket. The supermarket. Three. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Where can you get a dictionary? In a bookstore. Book at a bookstore, right? You can buy a, a dictionary at a bookstore. Bookstore. Four. Number four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Hey, where can, can you buy so where can you buy some gasoline? The gas, gas, gas station. station. At a gas station, gas right? Station. Gas station. Gas station, right? Five. five. Number five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Where can you where can you buy a sandwich? In the restaurant. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. Six. Number six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Hey, where can we get some stamps? The post office. Ah, uh, we we can get them at the post office, right? Okay. Seven. Number seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Where can you buy a sweatshirt? Mm, department store. At the department, department store. store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Where can you buy traveler checks? In the bank. In the bank. In the bank. At a the bank. bank, right? Very good. Now, what is the vocabulary you remember, people? What's the vocabulary you remember? Bookstore. Bookstore. Supermarket. Supermarket. Bookstore. Bank. Restaurant. Restaurant. Gas station. Gas station. Bookstore. Bookstore. Post office. Post office. And that's a it. A drugstore, drug good, a bank, etc. Right? So now we got right. familiarized with the vocabulary that the book, pre I mean, that the platform presents. Yeah. And you know, places and how, and places in town. Now, in order to uh, have some fun, I have something here. Okay, do me the favor to close your microphone in case you're not participating. Please. Thank you very much. Now, I have this. This is about vocabulary. We're gonna we're gonna have five minutes, okay? Five minutes for the memory card. Si no logramos terminarlo en cinco minutos, habremos perdido, okay? Vamos a contar cinco minutos exactos. Are you ready? Yes. yes ready. Okay, that's a memory card game. Here we go. There are some places. Aha, uh -huh. tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. What which number? Three. Number three. An amusement park. What, what is that? An amusement park. Tell me another number. 14. 14. A school. No. 11. 11. Okay. A train station. Number Seven. one. Number? One. Number one. Number one. A school. Yes. A school. Seven. Number seven. One fourteen. 14. 14. An airport? No. That's number five. seven. A number five. You say number five. A restaurant. That's a restaurant. Sorry. No. One, number one, one number 14. One, 14. One, one, and 14. One, 14. One, school. And four. school. School. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. Three, Eight. five. A, a three and five, okay. Three. An amusement park. No, no. And five. A restaurant. That's a restaurant, sorry. No. no. What else? Eight. Eight. A hospital. We. A hospital. Ten. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> a library. That's a library, sorry. Two. Two. Okay, so some people say two. A restaurant. A restaurant. Two and in the, the five, five. 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 A restaurant. Excellent. Very good. No, a restaurant. No, three minutes. Three minutes more. Si no perdemos. Okay? Nine. Nine. Five. And nine. And nine. Yes. A supermarket. That's a supermarket. Uh -huh. Quickly, please. Eleven. Four. Okay, someone say eleven. Train station. A train station. Seven. A seven. No. An airport. An airport. And four. Four. Is it four? Four. A fire station. A fire station. No. Fire station. Eight. Eight. A hospital. That's a hospital. Fifteen. Fifteen. Library. That's a library. Eighteen. 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 A hospital. Oops. Hospital. Hospital and and. Eighteen. And eight. And eight. 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 Excellent. Very good. Hey, dos minutos. Two minutes. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. A supermarket. Three. Supermarket. Fourteen. Huh? Fourteen. 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 A library. A library. Mm -hmm. Three and five. Uh, uh, three and five. Three. An amusement park. And five. But the five is, is already open, right? Six. Six. Seven. An amusement park. Ah, excellent. An amusement <laughs> park. Very good. <laughs> now tell me the other one. Sixteen. Un minuto. Hey, sixteen. Hey, but sixteen is already open. Mm -hmm. uh, 16, 16. Train station. Train, yes, yes. train station. Uh, and then four. Number four. Fire station. Uh -uh. A fire station. Oh. Train station, fire seven. station. Seven. 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 An seven. An airport. No. An airport. In <laughs> 12. In 12. Well, An airport. An airport, okay. Night. Nine. There's a supermarket. And thirteen. And thirteen. And is it thirteen? Okay. A supermarket. Excellent. Hey, I'm sorry. We already finished with the five minutes. Fourteen. Cinco minutos. Hey, one 14. minute more. One minute more. Okay. Fourteen. 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 No, but 14 is this one, right? Open, yeah. 15, maybe. 15. 15, 15. Yes. 15. Library. A library? Is the 10? 4. Is it 10? 4. Four. 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 A fire station. A fire station, sorry. Um, and 4. 15. Four. 16. 12, 16. 12 and 14 and 15. Train station. Train station? 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. The 12th is this one, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, train station. Now, yes, right? So okay. we're almost done with it. 11. Yeah, 11. 17. 17. 17. 17. 
En Ford. 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 Fire Station. And finally. The library. The <laughs> library. Wow, you did it, right? Great job. Was well, kind of difficult, but you finally got it, right? That was really good. Okay, so you got some vocabulary. Okay, now before going to that part, we're going to see something over here. So pay special attention. We're going to go over. <laughs> We're going to go over a, an exercise. This exercise is going to be about a listening. So what are we going to do? We're going to try to identify about, about the people people's needs, but, but the most important about the, the place where they need to go. Now, for example, Jen is going to buy a, swim, a swimsuit where maybe at the supermarket, at the department store, or at the beach, we don't know. But we're gonna listen to it. Question number two, what does mom need from the supermarket? Maybe she needs some groceries, some clothes, or some cookies for the dessert. We're gonna listen to it. Number three, what does dad need from the drugstore? Maybe a swimsuit, a cookies, or an aspirin? Aspirin. Yeah, but in the last one, we're going to see about Mike's information. Where's Mike going to go uh, with his dad? Maybe to the movies, to the drugstore to get a newspaper, or to the park. Well, to listen. The listen, please. Listen to this. Number one. Page 87. Exercise two. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. Listen. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. That was number one. Number two. Two. The bar store. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Number three. Three. <clears throat> What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. That I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Number three. Number four. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? All right. So that was it, right? What did you get? What is the information or right information from number one? Where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? At the department store. store. At the department store. The department store. Department, department store. store. At the department store? At the department store. Okay. Number two, what does mom need for the supermarket? Cookies, cookies for, for dessert. dessert. Oh, dessert. She, she needs some cookie for dessert. What does dad need for the truck store? Aspirin. 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 He needs aspirin. Oh, aspirin. Yeah. Aspirin. Where's Mike going to go? His dad. To the drugstore to get a drugstore. To the movies. To the movies? No. 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 Wow, I think we did it, right? Number one is all right. Number two, we did it. Number three, it's okay. Number four, great job. Good. So mm -hmm. we're going to do the following exercise. Listen, uh, from the conversation, you're going to identify some expressions here. Voy a volver a, a reproducir el, el audio de modo que ustedes 
identifiquen frases y me digan qué es lo que ellos van diciendo. Okay, vamos, primero voy a intentar irlo pausando a ver si no tengo problemas con internet. Si no me funciona así, pues lo voy a poner nada más. Um, de una sola vez para que ustedes me digan qué frases eh, recogieron de la conversación. Ok, here we go. Page 87. What number of page? 87. 87. Seven. Exercise 2. Uh, which exercise? 2. Two. 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 I need a new swimsuit. What does she need? She needs a swimsuit. She needs a swimsuit. She needs a swimsuit. Part A. Which part? A. A. Listen a. to Anderson family's conversation. What is the what is the family's name? Conversation. Conversation. No, I mean the family. Listen. Again. No, listen. Oops, that's a problem that I have here. Let's see if it is possible to play it again. No. Now let's go over it again. Sorry, that was my fault. I, I will play it at once, okay? And then you tell me what you cut from the conversation. Here we go. Page 87. Exercise 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. You. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. All right, what did four. you pick up? Oh, sorry, number four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike, but what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? All right. Now, which expressions did you get from conversation number one? He buy a new, a new swimsuit. Ah, okay. I need to buy a new swimsuit. Okay. Swimsuit. Okay. What else did you get? Conversation. Uh, to the beach. Uh, okay. Conversation two. No, no idea. Conversation. She needs to buy cookies. Cookies. She needs to buy cookies. Okay. Yes. Conversation number three. Uh, he, 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 he has a headache. He has a headache. He needs, headache. 
Uh -huh. He has a terrible he headache. Need a aspirin. He needs an aspirin. Good. Mm -hmm. A conversation number four. Or that one's number four. Uh -huh. Conversation number four. Uh -huh. Conversation number four. Mike is going to go with a newspaper to, to the drugstore to get a newspaper. newspaper. Good. Very good. Now we're going to post this exercise. Vamos a pausar este ejercicio. Todavía, pues vamos a sacarle provecho y vamos a hacer otra actividad, pero. Quiero que nos familiaricemos con el siguiente vocabulario. Ok, now. Uh, how do you say this in English? I mean, how do you pronounce this word in English? Airport. 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 The airport, airport. If you used to travel by plane. If you want to travel by plane, you need to go to the airport. What about this one? Bakery. 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 This is where you can buy bread and cakes. Bank. 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 This Bank. is the place where you deposit with throw money or cash in a check. Bar. 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 Where drinks, especially Bar. alcoholic drinks, and sometimes food Bar. are served. Bookstore and bookshop. Bookstore, bookstore, bookstore and, and bookshop. bookshop. Okay, you can buy books and magazines here. Bus station. station. You said bus station. 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 Butchers. 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 Where you buy meat. Cafe. Cafe. And this is where you can buy a cup of coffee. Church. Church. A religious place of Christian worship. Court. Court. Where a judge works and where they have trials and law cases. Department store. Department store. A large shop divided into departments selling in a great many kinds of goods such as clothes, household appliances, etc. Cinema. The cinema or movies. Where you can see movies. Service, service station, service station, service station where station. motor vehicles are refueled with gas or petrol. Service can sometimes repaired. It is also called filling station, gas station. Gym. Gym, place where you can do exercises to keep fit. Hair dressers, if you want to cut your hair, you may go here. Hospital. 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 A play for ill people when they need an operation or when someone is going to have a baby. Hotel. 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 A place that provides lodgings and usually meals and other services for travelers. Gallery. 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 A play for the exhibition of artistic work. Green grocers where you can buy fruit and vegetables. Grocers, grocery store. A grocery store where you can buy food stuff and various household supplies. Jail, jail, prison. Jail, prison. Where criminals are sent by a judge. Laundromat or a laundrette, a self service laundry, a place where you can wash your clothes in, a coin operating machines. 
Library. Library? Library. Where you can buy or borrow books here. Mall. Mall, a large Mall. often enclosed shopping complex containing various store businesses and restaurants. Museum. Museum, yeah. a place where mm -hmm. objects yeah. of historical, artistic, or scientific interests are exhibited, preserved, or studied. Motel. Motel, an establishment which provides login for motorists in rooms usually having direct access to an open parking area. Parking lot. Where you can park your car. Pharmacy talk store. Pharmacy or drugstore is a place where you where, where drugs are sold. Police station. Police station. The headquarters of a unit of a, a police force where those under arrest are first church. Post office. Post, post office. office, a place where the postage stamps are sold <clears throat> and other postal business is con conducted. Pub. Pub, a place where you can buy a beer or other type of alcoholic drinks. Park. You know what a park is? Restaurant. Restaurant. School. School. Train station and Train railway station, station. Or railway station. Supermarket. The supermarket. Zoo. And the zoo. Well, now that we have started this vocabulary, we have just discovered this vocabulary. I will share it with you in the chat. Okay. Voy a, voy a compartir el enlace en el chat para que ustedes lo sigan estudiando. Okay. okay, so, well, we already finished with this. Now we're gonna we're gonna study something that's that's named compound nouns, people. But before going there, we're gonna see the lesson objective. In this part of the class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Okay, this is this is our objective. Okay, compound noun. Listen to this part. This is a this is a new video. But I want you to pay special attention here because pronunciation is, is also important. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Okay, now you will see, listen and repeat. Listen and repeat, please. Post office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. Supermarket. Supermarket. Bookstore. Bookstore. Department store. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. Now pay attention because the guy is going to explain what, what compounds, compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, yes. in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. 
I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Gas station. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. Drug store. Drug Supermarket. Drug store. Drug store. Drug store. Supermarket. Store. Now is your turn. Yes, what I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website vocaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Well, we're going to pause it here. Well, tomorrow we will continue with it. But uh, listen, I also have uh, got some other exercises here. And this is very this is a really nice exercise because you are just going to go and visit this. Oops, no, it's not this one. Sorry. That was my fault. Okay, over here. Now we need to know about compound now over stress. And it is says, and it is said that a compound noun is created when two or more words often an, uh, an initial noun or an adjective that modifies the final noun are joined together or just adjacent to one another. So often that the combination of words is interpreted as a single noun or clause compounds are the easiest to, co or to recognize because they look like a single word. However, often compounds where, where space remains between the two words are also quite common in English. We have some examples over here. We say... Baseball. Aha, uh -huh. how do you pronounce this? Baseball. Baseball. Now, as, Baseball. as you can see, the stress is symbolized by having a circle here. Two circles, right? The first one, base... The second one, ball. Baseball. 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 Yeah. Baseball. Okay. Quiere decir que acá es donde nosotros vamos a, a levantar un poco el tono de nuestra voz. Baseball. Baseball. Listen to the next. Baseball. Yeah, listen to Baseball. the next. Baseball. Yeah, listen. Baseball. Baseball. Second. Baseball. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop. Stop. Stop sign. Listen. Stop. 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 Okay. Do, then we have some uh, three three syllable compound nouns, and in the in the first word of a compound noun is more than one syllable in length. The normally stressed syllable of the first word is the most stressed syllable of the entire compound. For instance, in the open compound security guard, the car is syllable receives the most stress in the entire compound because because that is in the normally stress syllable of the first word so security guard. security guard security guard secure security, security guard listen security security guard 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 security guard guard security guard now i have some other examples Tengo otros ejemplos por acá, ustedes los van a ir copiando y van a ir identificando dónde va la mayor fuerza de voz, ¿ok? Vayan copiándolos, por favor. Okay. Y lo van identificando con, esta, con estos círculos, ¿Dónde, dónde se siente el, el, la mayor fuerza de voz. Here we go. Newspaper. Uh -huh. Newspaper. 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 Okay. Number two. Newspaper. Footprint. 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 Number three. Classroom. Classroom. 
classroom. Classroom. Uh, number four. Grandmother. 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 Okay. Number five. Birthday. 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 Listen carefully, please. Birthday. 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 Number six. Bathroom. Bathroom. Number seven. Keyboard. Keyboard. Number eight. Policeman. 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 Sunburn. Number nine. Sunburn. 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 Number 10. Waterfall. 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 And then we have open compounds like roller coaster. Roller coaster. Like roller dining coaster. room. Dining room. Like credit card. Credit card. Like middle school. Middle school. Middle like. School. Bus pass. Bus pass. Bus pass. Number Bus six. Pass. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming Number pool. seven. Stop sign. Stop sign. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Solar power. Mm -hmm. Solar, Solar power. power. Number Solar. nine. Fire alarm. Fire alarm. Fire alarm. And number 10. Golf ball. Golf, Golf ball. ball. Okay, now we're going to do something. You're going to have like five minutes, cinco minutos para que se aprendan bien la pronunciación y que identifiquen dónde va el, el, la mayor fuerza de voz, ¿ok? Les comparto el enlace. Ok. Para que puedan visitar ustedes la página. There you are. Ahí la tienen. Five minutes, cinco minutos, ¿ok? Ya luego yo elijo quienes nos van a ayudar a compartir lo que han estudiado. Five minutes. Wow. Mira, vení, me salí de la tienda, se ve mi mente. En este yo, yo no veo la página. No veo el ejercicio, chicos. Ah. En el chat está el link, ahí tiene que ingresar. Aquí, ajá. Sí, donde dice chatear, ahí está el, el link que, que el profe mandó. Ajá. 
Gracias. Y, y la barra de, la barra de train, diccion, train Diccionar, donde está la, el ejercicio. Ah, bueno, gracias. Uh, I hope you are you are practicing the vocabulary, right? Well, let us see about the about the words that you you have just practiced. Ah, uh, well, let us see. How do you read this one? How do you pronounce this one? Newspaper. Newspaper. Let's continue. Footprint. 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 Classroom. 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 Grandmother. Grandmother. Birthday. 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 Bedroom. Bathroom. Bathroom. Keyboard. Keyboard. No, you say keyboard. Keyboard. Listen, keyboard. listen, listen, listen. Keyboard. Listen, listen, listen. Keyboard. 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 Okay. Policeman. 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 Uh huh. Policeman. 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 Burn. 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 Ten. Waterfall. Waterfall. Okay. Waterfall. Now this one. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Good. This one. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Good. This one. Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. My school. My school. They say middle. Middle. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle. School. middle. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Bus pass. Bus pass. Bus pass. Uh huh. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Good. This one. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign. So another one are power. Power. power, power, solar power, excel. Right, power. so we're almost done. So know. listen, we're gonna stop over here. Nos vamos a detener acá. Voy a pasar la lista de asistencia y nos vamos a estar pendientes porque todavía hay mucho que estudiar acerca de este vocabulario. Ah, uh, sí. Espero que lo continúen estudiando.
Ok, list attendance. Así rapidito con la, con la lista de asistencia. Uh, Abigail. Sí. Ana María García. Abajo en la cepa que está abajo en medio. Ana María Emily. Carlos David. Present. Daniela Alejandra. I am here. Day Diana Saray. Diana Saray. Emma Débora. Eva Margarita. Present. Gabriela Lisset. Here I am. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Janet. Joana Guadalupe. Carla Olivia. Present. Ah, ok. Present. Ok, Melissa Giselle. Raúl Alexander. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Zaira Abigail. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Suani. Wilder. Teacher. Hello. Yo soy la segunda, Ana García, y ahorita me sacó de un solo el internet. No sé, tuve una ah. falla de internet y me había sacado. Ok, ok, don't sí, worry. Pero no pude responder, soy la segunda, por no sé qué me pasó y se salió de un solo. Ok, pero thank you. Nuevamente. Thank you, Ana María. Ok, thank you. Then, let me see, Ruth Noemi, Zaira, Sara Vanessa. Present teacher. Sara Vanessa? Or Zaira? I am Zaira. Ah, ok, Zaira, thank you. Silvia Noemi, Stephan, okay. Stephanie Carolina, Present teacher. Swani, Wilder, William, Jancy, que, eh, I'm sorry, que William, William, I'm oh, sorry, yeah. William Vladimir, ah, uh, I am here. Thank you. William eh, Alfredo. Present teacher. Present. Okay, thank you. So, Wilder. Jancy, Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. And Jenny Guadalupe. Jenny Guadalupe, are you there? Okay. That's fantastic. Hey, people, I think this is over. Let us see tomorrow and just keep working. Uh, ah, uh, before leaving, antes de, antes de terminar con la sesión, eh, por favor solicito que si hay alguno que todavía no haya terminado actividades de la plataforma respecto a la, a la semana anterior, que lo hagan, por favor, que no se queden sin ese porcentaje. Es sumamente importante que cumplan con todas las actividades que se ah, que quedan registradas en la plataforma principalmente y ya luego las actividades que yo asigno. Okay. ok, mañana continuamos y ha sido un placer poder atenderles. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, tomorrow teacher. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Good night. Swanee, okay.